Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this makeup tutorial. So in today's video, I was really excited because I made a small trip to Ulta and as you may know, NYX has tons of new stuff. So I went back because I noticed that they had some new glitters and a glitter primer and and I was just dying to try it out. So today I'm gonna to be doing a more neutral cut crease. Actually, this is like a half cut crease look. I've been really into it. So I've been using this technique for about two weeks now. And I really like how it defines the eye and it just makes everything look very like sexy and sultry. Now I did add some glitter again because I just really wanted to use it and I'm so, so impressed with the new NYX glitter. I picked up two and both of them are so finely milled that when you press them against your lids, they almost go like a metallic pigment, but of course they have more glitter to them. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other makeup tutorials you guys would like to see from me. So yeah, I believe that is everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So I've already primed my face with this CoverGirl True Blend. This is for dry skin. And I'm actually testing this little thing out. This is the Pixi Glow Mist. Um, it's kind of like a dupe version, I guess, for that Tatcha um, spray. And then after that, I'm just going to apply my foundation. I have been neglecting this foundation for the longest time, so I just decided to bring this baby out and use it since, like I said, it's been a hot minute since I've used it. And I forget how much I love this foundation. It's so full coverage, and it doesn't feel cakey on the skin. It looks really nice after it sets in, and yeah, I love it. <laughs> then after that, I'm just going to take my Urban Decay Concealer. I believe I am the color Light Medium. I will have all the names and stuff in the description bar down below, as per usual. And I'm just going to apply that to the center of my forehead, my chin, and to my eyes as always. And I do like to bring that up into my lids because we are going to be applying eyeshadow. So this is just going to act as a base for us. Now I'm going to bake with my NYC Translucent Setting Powder. This is definitely my holy grail. I've been using it a lot more than the Airspun Loose Powder and I really like it. It sets my makeup really nicely without leaving me too cakey. And then after that I'm going to take this um, Shade and Light Pilot, Pilot, <laughs> Pilot, Pilot, and I love it. Ever since I bought it, I, I can't put it down. It's just absolutely perfect. Everything is so nice about this palette. I use this both for contouring and applying bronzer. It really depends on my mood but most of the time I use it for both. And I like to take this brush that I actually got in my BoxyCharm a while ago and then I'll just go in and define my jaw just so we can hide the double chin and this just helps really just you know contour everything. And then with whatever I have on my sponge, I'll just go underneath my cheekbones and really chisel them out. And then I'll go in and blend them and I'll also go ahead and take care of the baking. I usually like to leave it for a little bit longer, but since my skin has been a little bit more dry, I try not to leave it on for too, too long because then it's just going to look really, really cakey. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Then after I've done everything, I do just like to go over everything with a big brush. This is from Luxie, or sorry, Luxie, no, Luxie Beauty. And I just like to take this all over my face to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines and everything melts onto my skin and looks really nice and blended. Just take your time again when you're blending so you don't have to spend extra time on trying to blend everything. So then after that, I'm going to take the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to take these two one, these two, I can't even speak, these two on the bottom right here. Um, I don't remember which ones are called, but I will have them again down below. And I like it. I really was hoping for something more bam with this look, but didn't turn out that way. 
Now I'm going to move on to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm feeling where my crease is because since we are going for that cut crease look, I'm going to take Malted, which is a really nice dark brown shadow, and I'm going to apply it directly where that bone is. Just make sure you feel for it, and you want to apply it directly where that hollow is. This is going to help us create a really defined look. Obviously at the beginning it's going to be a little bit sloppy, but just take your time and make sure that you're just going back and forth with applying, applying the products and just making sure that it's nice and pigmented. I do take my time and I actually use a pencil brush and then I go in and make sure that I blend everything out with a fluffy brush. I did pick up a little bit of mocha to help me blend that mal malted color, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I just again take my time with blending everything. I also bring a little bit of that mocha color since it's not too dark. I bring it to the inner corners of my eyes. Since we're not going to do an intense or a full on cut crease, it's going to be more like a half cut crease so I'm just going to bring that color in just to give my eyes a little bit more definition but I'm not really concentrating anything towards the beginning of my eye and then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and a really small brush and I'm just going to clean up around the area just to make sure that we have that really nice cut crease look and then after that I'm going to take the color molasses chip and it's a bronzy shade I did mix it with a little bit of Cafe Latte and I'm going to pack that on to my lid to make sure that I get a really nice color. Then after that I did use some glitter glue by NYX and then I applied glitter right on the top. These glitters are new by NYX. The one that I have is called GLI08. It doesn't have a name. Oh yes it does. It's called Bronze. Um, so I just apply that all over the lids. Really nice and super finely milled. And then I just do the same steps to my lower lashes and pretty much done with the look. Super simple and it still looks glamorous like you tried a lot but it's really simple. Then I applied this lipstick by MAC and the NYX Intense Butter Gloss and that is the end. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.